I've got another ranked episode for you guys today, and today's games focus a little more on offense and defense, and when it's time to stop pushing on offense and rotate into defense. I talk briefly about how too much pressure may become your downfall in Rocket League, so hopefully you can pick up something for your own game and become more efficient in your defense and offense rotations. If you're enjoying the daily videos, be sure to subscribe, and now let's jump into the matches. Hope you guys enjoy. We got Salado on my team against Crow and Corrupted G. So Crow just recently uh, recently announced that he's officially retired from competitive. Take this boost if I can. Ah, he demoed me. That's all right. Oh, what a shot. All right, did not expect that. He landed right there perfectly with the ball, but we take those. We'll, uh, we'll try to bring it back. Get back to Salado here. Nice shot. A good save. Nice save again. See if Salado can follow it up. Holy. Holy, what the heck? Bro is there. It's fine. I oh, bumped me. Bumped Crow. Ah, not my greatest flip reset ever. Nice save. Oh, they're playing. They're playing really good passes. Actually, Crow missed though. I mean, uh, Gabe missed though. People don't usually pass in twos. This has been really, really interesting. Like that that 50-50, for example, is not something usually people go for in twos. Oh, I couldn't finish it though. I'm bump Crow if I can. Try to get a nice flick. Get the boost steal as well. Yeah, Crow and Gabe are two players that I would say have very, like very unorthodox 2v2 styles. That usually uh, usually works when the two of them are playing together. I've seen them play together before. But so far, it's working out. Nice 50-50. Maybe pass across here. Oh my, they just don't stop going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they don't stop. Left maybe? They're just not gonna stop going. You got you got we got we gotta go a little faster than this. This is a very confusing game. <laughs> Both of us are just starstruck. We're like, <gasps> just they just keep going. I don't. I. Okay. Oh my gosh. We need to find that one opening because they're being really risky. Oh my. Dude, look at, look at this. Oh my lord! Okay, we need to get a good clear here. I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> no, Salado. This is crazy. They're making us rush because they're going really fast, but we just need to slow it down and play play smart. 
They fake when they're second man like that. Otherwise, it's they're kind of a high pressure, high reward, and we're we're like letting them do it too. Here we go. He missed. Oh, uh, teammate was not close. There we go. So yeah, this has been really crazy. They're, they're like high pressure and they, their defense is kind of all over the place because of how they're always, you know, running back on defense. But uh, if we can get those openings, we, we should be okay. Interesting. Try bump Gabe here if I can. I'll take it. Pretty close. And there we go. I think Gabe was pretty low boost. I'll take this boost before Crow does. Let Salad will stay with this. Oh, my bad, my bad. This is going to be really bad for us. Good fake. Stay with 50-50. Nice 50. Could be in their net, and it is. <laughs> and that's kind of what they get for being super pressure-based. So right there, I try to get a decent 50-50 and then pass it lightly to my teammate. And uh, we get a win. That was a, My teammate actually played really well with defense, but... Uh, they were heavy, heavy offense, as if they they had a third, but they didn't. Interesting game. We got KX and Bullseye with Salad on our team again. See how it goes. Pretty sure he was our teammate for the last like episode two for ranked. So I get a beat. I'm gonna wait patiently here. Uh, boost probably won't be there because my teammate uh, just got it in the corner. Clear it hard so that way Bullseye can't really catch it too well. Oh, I was going to pinch it backwards. That's okay, though. Good block for my team. Let KX touch this. Ooh. Oh. Good patience. Should I get a decent shot towards target? Oh, he missed, actually. Grab a, grab a few boost pads. I see, K, uh, I see my teammate up for that. Nice save. I don't think that was quite in. It was post and out, but... It's good. Try on Bullseye on his, on his way down to the ball, or up to the ball, I mean. Good clear. Bullseye's really awkward on the wall. Put them under pressure, and there we go. Nice one. Well played. I'll try to go for this. Maybe uh, feed it back right, because he's going back right. At least it's... It, oh, good fake. I thought he missed, but he's actually playing away from uh, the player who was chasing him. Pop it over the one. I'm going to get beat here. It's good of Bullseye to keep that close. Good early to turn as well. Wait for KX here. I'm gonna fake him so that way he goes early. I get a free ball. Big fake. I get to recover really quickly because of the way that I landed. Which is really good so I can back up my teammate when he challenges here. I don't mind that, that fake. It does kind of put me and him in the same position though. Because they don't really... Uh, it's going to be too hard for him to read that, yeah. Um, I end up trying to push up with him because I think he's going to make the clear. And if we had comms, obviously, that would be better. But me taking that ball right there is really good as long as I keep it pretty soft. Because then I can make that early shot, which is what, exactly what I did there. He's going to be probably going to be in our net. Yeah. There's really nothing you can do if you cheat there and that goes in like that. Um, and honestly, even if I went back corner, it's probably going to be a goal anyway. Just a really poor 50-50 off the kickoff. Hopefully, we can get a better one here. It's a pretty good one. The other teammates, the other opponent's probably going to go early right here. So I'm just going to wait. Salad got that bump. I think it was a goal. Oh, it's a goal anyway. <laughs> what a shot. All right, we'll take those. Nice one. 
That's a really good shot. I actually thought that was the opponent trying to make the, the touch before I went for it. Really good clear, though. Get this mid boost. I'm actually gonna shoot this immediately because a lot of players go off the ceiling nowadays. If I go for an immediate shot like this, it should be good for us. Let's stay in front of this, let him go first, then try to block him. Um, a lot of people go off the ceiling for those challenges, so instead what I do is I just go for the immediate shot to pull them off the wall. I'm gonna make, make him go fast. Over the one, get the demo. That should be okay for us. That's totally fine. I feel I feel like confident in his ability to bring that across, so I'm just gonna wait. There's no real need for me to jump up for that and be in the air as well as he is. I'm gonna pop us off the wall. Make them panic. He's trying to make a catch, so I just wanna make that uncomfortable for him. Go for a hide block. Because they're challenging very aggressively as well. We go. KX not quite ready for it. See the dribble. Pop it over the one. Try to pop it over the next one. I did, I did bump him a little bit, but that little pinch right there is actually really bad for them because it lets go of the ball. Uh, it, it'd be better if he let the ball bounce, but with his momentum, I think he couldn't get out of the way. Let's see if he can pass this back. I'm gonna wait for the flick for my teammate to get behind me. There we go. Decent challenge. Nice. I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna get bumped here too. I gotta avoid it. I'm actually watching the player instead of the ball there. It's actually easier to watch where the player's reading the ball because they have a better view of it than I do. Sometimes using ball cam there is actually really, really awkward for you if you're under the ball like that. I'll let him sit with it. I thought he was gonna go immediately. I'll avoid the bumps. Good. I should just be in. Nice. Yeah, so right there, all I did was just boost out of the way because I I shouldn't have flipped that up in the in the air. Uh, want want a party? Oh, whoops. He doesn't want a party. That's okay. Um, what I was saying was I shouldn't have flipped that up there because it gave them a free possession of the ball. But then he ended up just going for the demo on me instead. So I just avoided it and boosted out of the way. But he really should have just went for the clear because my teammate was to the right of me, and the net was pretty much open. We got Aqua on our team against Jacob and AJ. Interesting lobby. Decent 50 50. I see that he's going for that flip early, so I'm just trying to get in the way of that for my teammate. Nice save. Jump behind him just in case. Nice pop. Nice pop again. That's going to be open, I think. Well played. Nice shot. That's that space you need to do those kind of plays where you pop it up like that the first time. Because like, the other player should be covering that really early, but I think it was Jacob didn't quite get there in time. And in doing so, um, he gave too much space for Aqua to get the double touch off of the follow-up. Whoa. So AJ's backing off. Both of them are in the corner. We'll let him touch this. Oh, I actually pinched that. Let Aqua get that boost so I can get the one behind him. Get that off the wall. Quite alright. Oh my. Hit this back to Aqua. I'm going to go for the bump on Jacob. Ends up avoiding it pretty well. Oh my. This gameplay has been interesting so far. There we go. Good block. Alright, so that touch from Aqua was a little awkward. Unfortunately, uh, Jacob also made an awkward touch. I'm going to go for the shot immediately. Hopefully, bar down. There we go. Thank you. So I gave myself a pretty good setup by bouncing off the wall close enough that I can go for another follow-up shot. And I assumed AJ would go as fast as possible. He likes to do that. Same with there. I just go for the immediate shot as fast as possible. I'm going to pass this down to Aqua, but probably going to be cut off. I have to go for the bump on Jacob if I can. I think he missed. What is, go <laughs> what is going on? How is that not a goal? Aqua thought a Aqua actually gave up. Yeah, 
He didn't get a flip reset. Oh, he did. So good, good save. It's probably gonna be a goal, I think. What is what is actually happening? Nice read. Hopefully, Aqua got that boost. It looks like he did from how much he's using. So I'm assuming he has enough to follow it up. And there we go. Pretty good game so far. Getting some good outplays. Aqua's playing really well with the air dribbles and that first shot he got. And my shot was pretty nice as well. I gave the ball away by doing that. Not the, gr the greatest touch for me, but I can go back and get boost. Stall some time. Nice pinch. It is really awkward. Ooh. I'm gonna take this boost from AJ and it's gonna pop up here. So I'm not too worried about that. So good attempt from Aqua. Should be open if I shoot it. And there we go, top bar. Pretty good so far. Aqua made a pretty risky challenge there, but it definitely paid off. And we have some goals, some uh, a goal cushion there to go for that. And uh, outplay the two of them going for it. Decent shot. I'll let Aqua go for the 50-50 here instead. I should have went for that boost. I shouldn't have left it like that. AJ's going to have this across. I'll wait for it. Get this boost from Jacob. Close. Ah, that's my bad. If this is, if this is a goal, it's my bad because I went super early on the challenge. Good save. Should we boost for him here? Whoa, I didn't think he was ready for that. That's my bad. What a save! <laughs> I don't think we can lose this game. I'm just going to go over here. Oh, no! Oh, we're totally fine. It might be fast enough, and there we go. This has been a, a wild game, but I hope you guys enjoy the episode. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. How did he save that? Until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hardcore parkour. I'm very familiar with this. Uh, home? <gasps> Ha <laughs> ha!